This video is the walkthrough of DC1 one lab mission. So let's begin. If you get the mission, the first step is running the ARP scan. So after running the ARP scan, I got the IP address of my target mission. The MAC address starting with the 08 will be the target mission of my virtual box. So this is the IP address. The next step is, use, is to use the nmap tool. So nmap is the tool, network mapper tool. And I use the flag minus p minus for scanning for all the ports. And I use the flag minus sv for scanning the service version. And this is the target IP. After the nmap scan, I found four open ports. As you can see, these are the four open ports that I found. The port 22 SSH and port 80 HTTP and two other ports are there. So HTTP is open so we can search the IP address on a browser to view a website. So I'm opening a browser and search the IP address. As you can see I got a Drupal site. So I got a login page like a username and password you can enter like admin admin or admin password for checking some basic login credentials so here i entered admin as the username and password as the password but i'm unable to login so let's leave this so let's scan for any hidden directory so for that I'm copying the I'm copying the URL and I'm using a tool called Warbuster. So I already started the scan. So let it run. So the scan will take lots of time. So that is why I'm showing like this. So Warbuster is a directory enumeration tool and the DIR stands for the directory and minus U stands for the URL. So this is the URL. So and minus W stands for the bird list. So here we are specifying common.txt bird list as you can see and the scan is still progressing so as you can see status 200 slash 0 was there so when you enter slash 0 as you can see it doesn't move to any other page like it is just the index so we can uh, try words like uh, robot dogs robots.txt if you get a website we can try like uh, robots.txt as you can see, we have some disallow in the directories. As you can see, we got all the directories. Lots of things are disallowed. As you can see, in the robot.txt, we got some information like this. Slash admin is disallowed. So on this Gobuster scan, as you can see, is a 403, which is a error code. This is a client error code. So it's all are disallows. So these are the, some directories which are uh, disallowed. Okay. So there is scan. In the meantime, we can uh, go for the home page and we can view the page source. As you can see, this is the page source. and I don't find anything suspicious here so this is just a Drupal site so just copy this and paste this on the browser as you can see it's a CMS it's a content management system Drupal is a free and open source content management system so we got some information about what is a Drupal is a CMS okay so let's search for Drupal exploit as you can see there's some versions like we got some information about Drupal less than 8.6.9 version has uh, module remote code execution so here is the code so currently we don't know the version that we are using Drupal but we don't know the version of Drupal so I also started the Nikto scan Nikto is a vulnerability scan and tool you can scan I use the tool Nikto and minus H for the host IP so here I used URL it's okay to use URL or the IP address so most of the scan in this mission will take lots of time so that is why 
I started the scans before. So it's still scanning. We don't have much information. So we found that Drupal, we don't uh, know the current version that we are using. So there is another tool called Searchdroid. So I am using the tool called Searchdroid and search for Drupal. Wow, I got lots of information, lots of modules on the Searchdroid. So here I got a lot of things, a lot of exploits, like a lot of version in Drupal has exploits. As you can see the versions. So as you can see Metasploit. So some of the modules are in Metasploit I think. It's Metasploit. So we are unable to see it properly, but it's Metasploit. So let's open Metasploit. So MSF console is a tool which we can use to open Metasploit framework console. As you can see, starting the Metasploit framework console. This is a banner. This Metasploit is by Rapid7. So we have uh, 2,461 exploit modules and 1,267 auxiliary modules and 431 post modules and 1,468 payloads, 49 encoders and level knobs and 9 evasions are available in the Metasploit version 6.4.34. So let's look for Drupal. As you can see, we got lots of modules. We got uh, 25 modules of Drupal, which is available in the Metasploit. So we can try the first one by entering the command use zero. So we can enter I mean, like options. As you can see, we have to specify the ROS, which is our target IP address. So I'm copying the target IP address and I'm entering the command set arrows and I'm running and the command run as you can see started reverse TCP handler so this is our LOS IP address as you can see exploit completed but no sessions was created so it you another module let's for search for Drupal again and we got a lot of modules right so I'm just using the second module so zero is the first module so it's the one is the second module okay so I'm using the one I'm entering the command use one and I'm entering options as you can see we have to specify the arrows which is the target host I'm entering the command set arrows and the IP address of our target machine and I'm entering the command run Run is the command to run the module. As you can see, reverse TCP handler was start running automatic check. The service is running, so it finds the service is running, but could not be validated. So this module finds that our, our service is running, but it could not be validated. So let's wait some time and look at it. As you can see, sending stage, we have meter putter session one open. We got access, guys. So we got a meter putter session. So let's wait a little bit of. Let it work. Yeah, we got the session. Anyone LS? Wow, you got a lot of things. So here I got the flag one. So I can enter cat and flag one dot txt. Yeah. Every good CMS needs a config file and so do you. So we got the flag 1.txt here guys. So we can move to home cd flash home and even realize we got a flag 4. So then you can move to flag 4 which is a directory. So we can use the command cd flag 4. Mentoring ls. There I got flag 4.txt. And we to come and get flag 4.txt. Yeah, we got the flag 4. So, can you use the same method to find or access the flag in root? Probably, but perhaps it's not that easy, or maybe it is. 
so we got this information so we got the flag box so we can view cat etc pass wd as you can see flag for is a user so flag for is the name of the user here so the username is flag for right so we need to become a root user so should I, for that i'm quitting this meter butter session i need a shell so for that i'm entering the command shell and i'm entering slash bin slash bash minus i as you can see we got the shell and no job control in this cell so you can open the browser and search for spawn tty and you can open the spawn tty uh, this website by segwiki and you can copy this first python command and you can paste it here and we got the same you can enter slash bin bash minus play again for detail view so you can enter cd like the home was not set and you enter ls we are in flag 4.txt so you can check for the privileges as you can see sudo command not found it does not have sudo so you can move to temp directory and here we don't have any files let's uh, search for all as you can see these are the files in the temp directory so i am here using linenum.sh so linux enumeration you can search linenum in the browser you can see you can get the linenum from uh, github so here i got the linenum.sh this is for linux enumeration so i'm just downloading it so i downloaded this linenum.sh on my kali linux so my local machine and i move to download as you can see the linenum.sh so we need to move this linenum.sh uh, into the temp directory so when you enter nano we don't have any nano so we can just start a server here like we have python minus n http dot server so we configure the server on port 8000 so you can enter if config to view your ip address so this is your ip address and the server is running on port 8000 so you can open a browser and uh, visit to port 8000 as you can see this is the file that we need to uh, transfer to our uh, machine so i'm just copying this url so port 8000 so i put slash and the file name here i'm just copying it i'm not entering okay i'm, uh, I'm just opening my uh, terminal now i'm in time directory i'm using the command uh, wget and http colon slash slash and the ip that i copied as you can see it's connecting and now we are able to download the files to our time directory when you enter ls i as you can see it does not have an execute permission so we have to give it execute permission you can enter chmod plus x and the file name you can double click and copy and paste it here so now we have execute permission so let us execute by dot slash and the file name so our execution was started so we can stop this uh, server so it's executing linenum.ss is now executing so we got lots of information by executing linenum.ss so guys the scan is now completed after lots of time the scan is completed you can see any interesting mail in var mail it's some hidden directories so location and contents is accessible of dot bash history files which is uh, we already viewed with the flag for dot txt so we got some etc recursive one level so we got lots of information here as you can see possibly interesting suid files so we got two it files like user bin find it has, it has s which is suid so we got something like this so it's in the find command user bin find 
so we can enter command like find slash root to view the contents of the root as you can see these are the contents in the root directory as you can see this is the the final flag dot which is available on the root so we can't move uh, to root directory since we are uh, not root and you enter who am i we can see you are www data so we need to become root right so we have something called uh, some information like we got something interesting here so we can open the browser and search for gtf for bin so you can open the website as you can see uh, the user bin find has some suid so you can search for find in the gtf or bin site you can open the find as you can see we have we have a shell command here so you can copy this command and you can paste it command here yeah we got root access so now we can move to the root directory as you can see the flag, final flag.txt is available in the root directory so you can view the final flag.txt yeah we are done i hope you enjoyed this video thanks for watching have a nice day